Hey everyone, welcome back to day 4 of the Prisa application build. So in this video, we will be exploring about the React Context API, which will be used to uh, add items to our cart and then remove items from our cart. So in the previous video, we went ahead and built up the home screen as well as the design part of the next screen that is the Prisa screen, which look like this. So at the end of the video, pretty much in the previous video, we had a small glitch and a error that that is the space error. So I have overcome that error that is by making changes to the text part that is over here. So if I go to the Pizza component and uh, I have made text uh, changes to these two texts, that is this one. So initially I think this was like 15 and then it contained dots. So here I've made changes that is uh, item dot name dot substring uh, until zero to 14 characters. And this one it contained like initially it was 25 characters. I've made it to 20 and the space is gone. Now it's looking uh, properly. Okay. The same thing goes with this one as well. It's looking clean and clear. So now let us uh, go and explore about the context API. So first thing is to uh, we need to create a context. So let's go create that. So let us select a app.js so that we are uh, so that we are at that level. And then let us write context.js and then here we'll be writing the code for context so let's import uh, react and then create context from react yeah so first let's initialize our context so const cart item so this code is pretty much going to be the same thing that we implemented in our previous application that is zomato application so here create context now let's start writing the function that is let's write basket context okay so this will take props as children that is over here and let me close that bracket yeah oh so here we will return the provider so cart items the provider yeah so over here we will pass the children so uh, whatever we initialize in our context.js we uh, we will have access throughout it uh, through any screen or through any component of our application so that's the main advantage that is we can prevent that prop drilling process so let us initialize our cart over here with the help of use state so const cart comma set cart uh, equals to uh, use state and we will pass an empty array initially because since uh, there is no item present initially in our cart so that's the logic pretty simple so now over here we will make use of the value attribute and then we will pass our uh, cart and set cart okay yeah so now after doing this we have created our context for this application so at at the bottom let me export our cart items uh, and then uh, even a basket context as well yeah so now we have only created our context uh, now we need to uh, even include the context inside our application so that everything starts working so to do that we need to go to our app.js and then we need to wrap our entire stack navigator within the basket context that we just created so let's import basket context from the context file and then let's put our stack navigator inside our basket context over here and save so if i save the file nothing should happen that is no error should come if you have done everything right okay can't find variable use state so let's go import that as well state and then save the file okay I think we are good to go. So now let us go to our yeah the pizza component where we have that uh, add to cart button over here. So let's write the logic for that first initially. So yeah, so first let us uh, get the values that is the set cart and the cart that we initialized uh, in the context or JS file. So to get the values, we will make use of the use context hook. So cons cart. So let's get the values over here comma set card so these are the two values that we sent uh, to the value prop inside our provider so here equals to use context 
and here we will pass the cart items that we just initialized okay from context and let's import it as well and also let's import use context as well from react and save the file yeah so now let us console dot log the cart it's of course giving uh, it's also if it's, it's of course uh, giving us an empty value because there is nothing inside it right now so cart items save the file yeah so we are getting empty okay so we are getting like uh, so uh, many uh, messages that is uh, many console dot logs because it's because we are using the map function and then we are rendering the pizza component so that's the reason we are getting like so many console dot logs so we'll remove this uh, two lines of code and then we will just execute it in our uh, yeah pizza screen over here so let's write another message and then check we should get only one time nope let's check again all right nothing is showing okay uh, let's see that afterwards so first over here uh let's get the cart and set cart from our use context that is from the context.js file so here we will write the uh, functionality for add to cart okay so over here this will take a and press we'll take a function and then over here we will write a set cart yeah so here we will write whatever is there inside our cart initially that is a spread operator and then we will add our item that is this one that is the that is the item that we that we just pressed okay so let us write that over here item yeah so save the file so now let us console out log our cart here itself again and then check because it's not working that in in the other screen so cart items yeah so if i press on the first item that should be added yeah so as you can see it's added but the reason is uh, yeah but it is showing like many times that we can change it later that's not a problem and we can add a second item as well yeah so you can see two items are being added in the cart so let's even check the number of items so console.log uh let's write card dot length number of items in the cart save the file yeah so as you can see there are two items in the cart because we have just pressed on two items all right so <coughs> if if you have checked out the demo video uh, uh as soon as i press on the add to cart button uh we will get the value that is one being added and we will also get the the minus sign and the plus sign uh, towards the left and right so that we can increase the quantity or decrease the quantity so that will be implemented in the next video so this video uh, i just wanted to keep it short that is to mainly create the context and uh, i think that part is done so now we will correctly console log the value so that we get it only once here we're getting it like uh, as many number of times the items are there in the list okay so let's check that out why it's why that's not working so let's go back and then if i click on this yeah but we are getting the same uh console log itself so let me uh, refresh the app and then start it again <laughs> all right so where can we uh, uh get the console out log so this is the pizza screen we have that okay yeah but again we are getting the same thing okay but i don't think that is an error but let us 
render it in the home screen and then check okay so copy that thing comment that out and then let us render it in our home screen let us go back and then save the file yeah so can't find variable cart okay we need to even import it as well copy that <coughs> and then import our cart items as well as the use context hook save the file yeah so as you can see it's coming only one time save again yeah it's coming only one time so now if we go and check out that is if i press one add to cart button yeah so you can see there is one number of items in the cart and then we have the the data that is being added to the cart if i press on the second uh, item yeah we can get that as well so in the next video we will implement in such a way that uh, if i press on the add to cart button uh, we should see the quantity as one and then we should uh, <coughs> we should even be able to uh, d increase and decrease the quantity as well and we will even write a, uh, the function to select the size that is the correct size and then we will pass it to in inside the cart so that we can get access to it yeah i think that's it for this video uh, until then keep exploring thank you for watching